Hello. Uh, what? Okay, uh, hello. Uh, it's me again, and I've got a super special uh, uh, edition of Countdown to Yule. Uh, what's today? The 13th? The 13th? And there's my phone starts to ring. Let's start. Uh, today, I am breaking out a bottle that I actually bought an entire year ago. Muskoka's Double Chocolate Cranberry Winter Beard Stout. So, this is the one from last year, from the before time. So, it's got... Uh, it's still in the box. I, I've taken it out and looked at the bottle. But I put it back in the box and stored it in the bar. Uh, yesterday I stuck it in the fridge to chill, and now, ta da -dum. Muskoka Winter Beard Cranberry Stout. So this is the special one they do every year. Uh, again, this is the one I picked up last year and cellared for a year. I thought it would be a good day to break it out. It was a craptacular day. Kind of all round. Uh, uh, weird. 3 we were up at 3 a.m. Oh, cork too. We were up at 3 a.m. doing business stuff. We got snowed on. We got fucking cars in the ditch. We got spending piles of money to have vans pulled out of snow banks in Val de Mont, Quebec. So I thought. Yeah, let's have this one. Anyway, oh, come on, open. Uh, I want to do the thing where you hit the roof with it. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay. It's never taken this long just to open a beer. This is going to be a long... There we go. Bop! Look at that. It's got the little logo on the cork. Mm, I'm excited about this one. Okay, let's uh, pour... Pour it in. You can actually hear it for like a commercial. It's like a car I'm not. Oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop there. It's gonna let it settle. Look at that. I'd offer some to Jenny, but she hates beer. I like wine. I don't know how I ended up with a spouse who hates beer. So you don't have anyone take your beer. <laughs> Good point. If you had a right. beer loving wife, you'd fight. Look at that. It's a very, very carbonated. I'm not sure if that's like a. Uh, uh, because it's been cellared for a year or if that's how it comes. Uh, I, uh, As I recall, I bought two of these last year and drank one. Uh, you, can all, oh, you can always look at my the review on Untapped or I'm going to take my obligatory untapped and uh, 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 insta picture oh that's that's a neat picture I can see myself in the picture okay click all right save that for later for insta and untapped okay here we go okay for the the very first it's it's got that smell of an old beer, it, that's that's a good thing. It's not a it, like, yeah. You know, I can't explain. It smells like a cellar beer. Okay, first of all, um, I'm not getting much of the cranberry, but it's got that slightly sour. Uh, cranberry like smell sour smell it's, you're making it sound sexy over there oh yeah <laughs> okay we're already like five minutes in and I haven't even drank any beer so let's, um, let's drink some beer okay the thing what I remember about this last year it was very strong in the 
in the roasted malt and chocolatey coffee flavor. It's a lot more mellow now. But the flavors are like all together. Yeah. Um, that's really enjoyable. I don't know what else to say. If if you have the opportunity to grab one of these, they only come out in the winter time. Uh, it's a uh, one of their their winter warmers. Uh, grab two, stick, drink one, and stick one away for for aging. Because that's that's really it's it's delicious. It's like it's more like a a, a a mellow red wine now than a beer, and well, I guess that's really what happens, right? I mean, you you store it, the flavors meld together. Wow, that's awesome! Uh, check it out again. Let's show it to you again. This is the cranberry stout winter beard, chalk double chocolate. Oh, here, let's check the. What would be more reminiscent of a frigid northern winter than an insulated beard and a warming Muskoka seasonal brew? Our double chocolate cranberry stout is rich and sturdy with roasted dark chocolate malts, real cocoa, dark chocolate, and locally harvested cranberries. We have locally harvested cranberries? I didn't know that. A winter beard was brewed with a slightly higher alcohol content to allow for aging and cellaring. The result will, is a very special winter brew full of character, wisdom, and experience. And then there's ingredients. Uh, yeah. May contain nuts, peanuts, and soy. Uh-oh. Allergy alert. Anywho. So again, this is the one from last year. You can always grab the one from this year. I suggest you do. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Um, happy, um, you know what, there's more, look at that. Happy, happy. Cheers.